so I'm not having so I'm not having the best of mornings. Um, so I, I said yesterday in a video, my mom sent me money for an air conditioner to get a new air conditioner. Um, it cleared this morning, which was good. It cleared. It was cleared and stuff. And I go to buy the air conditioner. I had I had to change like my my car my credit card in the thing because it was an old credit card listed and was trying to get the new information listed so I could order this air conditioner and try to check out the air conditioner. It was all set to check out and etc. The information looked good. I went to check out and it said, "Oh, there's an issue with your payment and etc." You know, come to find out the bank declined my freaking, you know, my freaking payment for the air conditioner because they thought it was suspicious. So, basically, I can't order an air conditioner because it basically the bank thinks it thinks it's suspicious and really wants to fucking screw me this morning and I'm at I'm trying to really not I'm on the phone with the woman this morning trying not to yell at her because she's only doing her job and I don't really want to like yell at the woman but I'm trying to be very calm but I'm also kind of trying to tell her why I'm a little frustrated because I you know I, I am a little frustrated you know um Granted, they're going to they're going to be reversing the money because obviously there's no order there's no order on file listed there's no order on file listed so they are going to be reversing the money but um, because obviously the order from from Walmart did not go through for the air conditioner so now they got to reverse the money and you know that's going to take another twenty four hours for that to happen so I'm not going to have any have any access to my accounts for another fucking twenty four hours um, so I'm at that point where I'm a little fucking frustrated but you know Bank of America. America thinks they're doing a good job protecting people, and they are, because the last time this happened, I actually did have some discrepancies on my account, but, um, you know, I think they're doing a good job sometimes, but sometimes it's really in the most inconvenient times that they start pulling this shit, you know? Well, you know, last time I was in the middle of trying to get groceries and some stuff at the house at Dollar General, and I got fucking screwed because I couldn't, I couldn't actually, you know, I couldn't actually get, you know, my groceries and, and shit, and I had to put back a hundred and, you know, something dollar, so something dollars back worth of stuff, and I was really fucking pissed about that, you know. Um, now and then this this time it's like, you know, my mom sends me money, and I, you know, I clearly can't use it on a fucking air conditioner without them thinking it's going to be fraud because, you know, it's a big amount or whatever the fuck they want want to say so uh the bank of america fucking screwed me this morning in a way but they're they're, re they're reversing my money back into my account so the money is not hopefully not lost but um you know I, i'm at the point now where i'm fucking pissed because you know it's just an inconvenience this morning i wish i didn't have to deal with because i was trying very very hard to try to just you know order the air conditioner and i would have money and i would have had money left over to do a couple other things i wanted to do and now it's like i can't even fucking do that because i need to order the air conditioner first i can't fucking do that so i mean obviously i might just end up do using some of the money for the air conditioner and doing the fuck what the fuck i want to and not even ordering the air conditioner until i get fucking get my checks on uh, you know the first and the third of you know September, so, uh, th then hopefully they won't have to complain or be cocksuckers like they're being, you know, um, but basically I I'm at that point where it's just like so inconvenient this morning from the bank, so inconvenient, um, I mean, they're doing their jobs, and I'm thankful, because if this was an actual issue where I actually was kind of like, somebody had committed fraud or fucked up my accounts, I would have been really screwed, but, um, really, really, um, you know, the bank basically, you know, was doing their job, but, and they did, they did a really good job trying to protect my accounts, because obviously if that was like 200 and something dollars taken from my account that looks suspicious, they, you know, I'm sure they would have, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure they would have saved my ass, but the fact that it just happened in such an inconvenient time, and in the time where I just needed to do something so I could move forward and do some other things I wanted to do, not so great. Because now, now I got to sit here for the whole fucking day, you know, another 24 to 48 hours and basically sit here on my ass and not really do much because now, now I have another issue with the money, you know, processing and shit like that. So, um, so I'm not really too happy about that. God just wants me to sit and just chill apparently, um. Apparently, um, apparently I'm going to just have to do that. I mean, I have burgers I need to cook. I'm supposed to meet with somebody at like 1130, 11, 1130 about getting, about getting some stuff that, you know, I need to, uh, you know, getting some stuff signed and et cetera that I need to go over with, with, with this client's rights officer briefly. She's not coming to pick up the artwork, but she's coming to give me like the flyers for the art, uh, the art thing and some other, you know, other, uh, you know, other flyers and things for other, you know, um, for other artistic opportunities that happen to be with, uh, that happen to be with, um, 
you know, the mental health program. They have another art, artistic project or something going on on the website or something where people want, can display artwork, but they got to some, you know, they got sign consent forms and all this other jara to just you know just to do it so uh she's gonna hopefully come come by and give you know give me a bunch of stuff that you know I w i've been asking for and etc um and you know i mean i have the artwork here but she's not taking that just yet we might we might meet on the 30th which is the end of the month we might meet on the 30th and we'll try to get the artwork or get what we need you know get what we need together you know then but for the mean for the meantime i'm just chilling at this point i'm just doing what i need to do um trying to breathe you know the bank really just inconvenienced me this morning i'm not really felt again i'm not really happy about that that really kind of threw off my morning a bit but um you know shit happens it's life you know but oh the other thing is is timu timu says i have a package in watertown connecticut so apparently i think they're going to be delivering so shortly UPS is going to be delivering my package from Watertown, Connecticut, for one of my one of my Timu packages. I actually ordered team, two Timu packages, so the first one's going to be hopefully delivered in the next 40, 24 to forty eight hours. But um, you know, um, you know, so that that's good. The other one still hasn't even probably you know hit customs and shit yet. You know, I don't know what's going on with like customs and shit and, and getting stuff you know sent over here. You know, and all that jazz. But it's it seems like it's taken a while. So. Um, so, I'm, I'm excited for the first one, I mean, I didn't order too much jewelry in the first one, I ordered, like, a, this, 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 I ordered this, I ordered basically Sexy Red's, uh, plush, you know, she has a plush that's kind of explicit, you know, it's like a big plush, she, she's kind of, like, on Twitter with pictures of it, you know, I ordered the same t actual plush, so, you know, stuffed animal, I ordered some other things, um, uh, I ordered a couple things for the, I ordered something for the winter, I ordered something for the fridge, um, you know, some stuff like that, you know, a couple things I could use, one thing, one thing I could wear, one thing I could wear is in there, most of the stuff like the necklaces I did want and stuff are actually in the other, in the second one, but I do have one necklace I think I ordered in, in, in this one, but, um, most of it is just like stuff I could wear or, you know, personal, you know, personal use items for the bedroom or the house. So and that's basically what, what that whole, you know, that whole, uh, situation is, but, um, hopefully I should be getting a Timu package at some point in the next 24 hours. I don't know when or how that's going to happen, but, um, this is a really frustrating start to my morning. I'm not, I'm not really happy about it, but I mean, obviously now I got to sit, sit, sit here and not use any money in my account. So, um, and honestly, the leftover money I was gonna have, I was gonna, I was probably gonna almost do another Timu order. I, if I had any leftover money, I was gonna see if I could do a quick Timu order, and whatever money is left over after that, maybe to get myself to, maybe get myself some food or something at the Chinese place or something, you know. But, you know, fuck this at this point, you know. I mean, I have to go out tomorrow. I have to go out tomorrow. I mean, I probably have the money back in my account by tomorrow, but I have to go out tomorrow to a doctor's appointment and. Uh, medical appointment and stuff like that, and people don't even know if my medical situation is going to be resolved because a lot, apparently, you know, my workers kind of being irresponsible as of late when it comes to my medical stuff and etc. That he's being very irresponsible and stuff like that. So um, I might have to actually call the doctor myself and say, "Hey, look, this is my situation. I just want to tell you it. I just want to give you the message because apparently we don't know what the situation is and stuff at this point to get the medical situation taken care of." So. And without that, it's just going to be a really fucking rocky situation. So I'm probably going to have to get off, you know, get off my fucking Facebook Live and call the, call the doctor at that point and say, look, this is where I'm at. This is what I need to tell you, you know. You know, obviously, if I don't show up, it's probably still going to be pretty bad in my case because I need to be able to sit there and actually be able to talk to somebody and, you know, have, have a conversation. But um, anyways, just wanted to give a call, just one or. Now I feel like I'm leaving a message. Anyways, I just wanted to jump online and, you know, um, say hello, you know. It, it's early in the morning. It's really early in the morning, and I'm... <laughs> I want to say I'm roaring because I'm not really fully awake yet, but I, I'm, I'm aggravated a little bit. So it's morning aggravation already this morning for me. So, I, of course, I, had a, I, I told my mom as best as I could the situation. We're trying, we're trying not to anger her, but she's probably pretty pissed and pretty frustrated as it is so anyways just 
jumped online, you know, jumped online to say that this morning. There's not much else to say, you know. The day has kind of just begun. I'm waiting for one person to come and visit me to bring me some paperwork and shit like that. But I'm going to stay home. I think I'm going to try to make some turkey burgers today and get some work done, you know, try to. I mean, once again, it's very hot this morning. Yesterday it was very hot this morning. You know, yesterday it was very hot and uh, the, the weather cooled down and stuff and I was able to open up my windows. But it was very hot yesterday. I had to turn on the AC and shit and, you know. It was very, very warm, and plus I tried to run the, you know, the shower, and there's no ventilation in the bathroom, so all the heat was coming into the living room, and it was just very warm. I was sweating bullets, you know, I couldn't even, like, fully finish making my bed or nothing yesterday. It was horrible, so, um, anyways, just wanted to, I mean, I, I'm, I'm literally falling apart in here. I mean, I'm literally falling apart in here. I don't know if it's my mental health, I don't know what it is, but it's just, like, I literally can't keep up with everything. I literally can't, you know? The whole thing is, the whole apartment is, this parts of the apartment are just going to fucking hell, you know? So, that's just kind of where I'm at, but, you know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> just jumped online to just say that about the bank, because obviously, you know, the bank does this, I don't know if the bank just does this to any other people, you know, besides myself, but it's just been one of those mornings, so, peace.